What's going on YouTube and welcome back to PCGS.com and today we are looking at another variety that can put a ton of money into your pocket. We are talking thousands of dollars for this rare variety. Let's look down here. We have a 1944 D and this is the hand engraved initials regular strike walking liberty half dollar these things are gorgeous probably one of my favorite coins let's go ahead and take a look we right here we have the 1944 as you can see on the date uh, but what we're looking for is the reverse of this coin and we're looking for the initials from the designer and those would be located right over here next to the wing of the eagle and as you can see on this particular one the initials had to be engraved in by hand. Normally, they would be part of the die and they would just automatically be put there. But for some reason, which is unclear to uh, numismatic professionals, they don't know what happened. Somehow the initials did not get put on the die and so they had to hand engrave them. I'm gonna show you what a normal one would look like. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, as you can see in the Cherry Picker's Guide, on the left we have the hand engraved, and on the right we have the normal one that would already be in the, the die. Now I have actually found one of these hand engraved coins, and I'm telling you they are worth a lot of money. Let's check it out, guys. So let's go down here to the auction record look at the auction record three thousand two hundred ninety dollars let's go ahead and click on that link and that's going to take us over to this page here's a picture of the actual coin that was sold ms67 plus three thousand two hundred and ninety dollars what a beautiful coin that was sold by heritage auctions and uh, looks like it was back in 2014 it looks like a beautiful coin now let's go back again and let's check out the PCGS population and price guide now look at this this is what's important guys so you know average circulated condition you're probably looking at a $50 coin I would say but when you start getting into the MS like mint state 65 66 look at the price jumping 500 575 900 67 plus 4,750. We're not even talking about a perfect grade yet. If you had one that was, let's say, 68 or 69, you're talking probably, I would say, probably $10,000 right there. Much less if you find a, you know, a perfect specimen, that's got to be worth a ton of I mean like a small fortune so this is definitely a variety that you need to be looking for make sure you're subscribed and click that bell to get notified whenever we upload another video we will see you next time guys and as always happy hunting